Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. All right, folks, here we are. Deer Point Lake, getting ready for a big, not so serious bass fishing tournament for Camo Dreams. <laughs> I'm a man. Just kind of stage up over here on the left side where the majority of the boats already are. And as we call your number, and that doesn't mean take off. That means come through and you're going to pass right by the end of the dock. He's going to shine a light in your live well, have it open, have your kill switch attached, have your life jackets on. And as soon as you pass right here to the right of the dock, outside of these no weight zones, you're good to go. But So make sure you don't take off from over there. Make sure you come idling through here. And as he's calling the numbers, just kind of pay attention. You're going to see how he's going to do the lines. But uh, I'm going to give everybody just a few more minutes to get out there to the staging area. And then if you would, uh, shut your uh, motors off so we can go ahead and pray and do the national anthem. And we'll get this thing started, guys. All right, let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. And thank you for an opportunity to be in this wonderful creation that you have created for us. Dear Lord, I pray that you uh, will keep everybody safe today as we go out and um, try to catch a fish. And... Just thank you for the opportunity to gather and fellowship and just enjoy this time together, dear Lord. I pray that um, you just bless everyone here, dear Lord, and, and just help us to have a great day. And uh, we thank you for people like Derek, dear Lord, and, and his, his selfless self that, that do what he does for, for people um, that just need love and, and attention that he gives them. And I just thank you for an opportunity to, to do, put something on that benefits him. And I just pray that you... Uh, Keep our men and women overseas safe, dear Lord, and all of our first responders, dear Lord. And I just thank you again for everything you've done. Thank you for sending your son to die on the cross and saving us of our sins. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Just one second. <laughs> oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets record the bombs bursting in air yeah. <laughs> okay, come in one at a time. Look on the four, come on. Good. This is how you do it. Back off. Seven loaded up boat number eight. Come on. Come on, look at her. 
love you. It's just a cooler there. It's just a cooler, okay. Where were y'all? There'll be five. Hi. Seven, seven. Seven, eight. Good luck, guys. All right. All right now. Okay. What are we at? Fifteen. Oh, oh. Sixteen. Start heading this way. Close to the end. Look at here. Check this out. I got a bass fishing pole. They can smell the fish. <laughs> we got them all out. <laughs> well, we'll be talking to you through the morning and all. Are you excited? Yes, sir. I'm excited. <laughs> Biggest turnout so far out of three years. This Lots of folks here fishing to have fun and raise money for Camo Dreamers to have lifetime trips. That's right, buddy. All right. What was it? I remember. 
The big one, how much was it? Nine two. Nine two. All right, we got to hear the story. We went up in there, found some bed the other day, went up on them and tried to fish top water this morning on them and threw on top of her. Third cast, she exploded it. The third cast? She hooked herself. You know how you normally got to wait with the horny toad? She had exploded on that horny toad and I set the hook on her. So get the net, get the net. Oh, <laughs> what a thrill. Swim right to the net for us. Get yeah. her up. What a thrill. What about, okay, it was a top water? Top water bait, yes sir. We just exploded on it. That's all we fished all day was top water all day. We didn't throw another thing. We didn't even flip, pitch, nothing. We did frogs all day because the bite was on. After that rain stopped, we had three fish in the boat until after the rain stopped and we put our, finally got our last two in the boat. We caught, I think, what, three fish today? Yes, sir. So y'all, there's a big one in there? Yeah. yeah. Can y'all hold that up one yeah, more time? We'll get yeah. a better fish. Folks, you're going to look at a nine pound, two ounce bass out of Deer Point Lake. There's monsters in here. Yeah. Hey, let's do this. Put this on. <laughs> here, Chris. Chris. <laughs> That's funny. There we go. Chris Kramer doing the hey, you promotion. <laughs> yeah. You keep it. You keep it. You caught that, you keep it. Thank you, Bob. All right, tell the folks again who y'all are, okay? Sam Reedy. And Scotty Atkins. That's Scotty Atkins, right here, local boy from Bayou George. Bayou George boys. You got him up? Yeah, All right. Yeah, All right. That's a nice one right there. Oh, that's, that's a. Good All right, folks, having a great time here. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> oh, Chris. Sorry. I got you. You're welcome. Thank you. There he is. All right, guys. Good job. Nice. Alan, what's up? How was it today, buddy? It was slow until until the last cast when Ray caught that one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hear. We're gonna hear that story. We're gonna come on the show and tell that story. Okay. All right. <laughs> By the way, always do these human interest stories, folks. This guy just brought in his 9.2 pounder, but that's a special story now. You and your dad won this thing last year, right? Yes, sir. And uh, y'all are good fishermen. Where y'all from? We're from Alabama, but we've been here for about 20 years. Okay. Tell us about your dad. He loves fish, loves to hunt, just like me. And he grew, I was brought up in Alabama tournament fishing. We moved here and started following these little trails here in the Seminole Trail. and. The, even the Sand Hill Trail, we fish all the hammock and Porter Pond tournaments too. Just yeah. fish, fish every day. He's my best friend, you know. Yeah. We even work together. He made it to 65 years old doing what he loved to do, you know. And you lost him recently. Yes, sir. Some, like a month ago. A month ago, like three days ago. So I'd say like it's been like 34 days or so, 34 days ago. So we wanted just sent wake up bomb. Um, February 25th, he didn't wake up. My brother called me and said, Sam, you got to get here. I said, what is it? He said, you just got to get here. Yeah. I knew it was something in. Yeah. So you you hadn't, uh, when you go fishing, you hadn't been fishing without him before. You yeah, fished well, with him all the, your old life. The first tournament of the year was uh, Blake Hill here. Me and him fished it, you know, and uh, 
Blake said a prayer over me, and done yeah. his, he had made a whole page on Facebook about it, and they're doing you know their little once a week thing, you know. Yeah. And he prayed over me, and everybody put their hands on me out here and prayed over me. Everybody knew my dad. He was just he was a legend. Guy. No legend. Yes, yeah. sir. Well, I know he would be proud of you today. He's smiling down on you. You know he is. Thank you for that story. Thank you, sir. What? <laughs> He's, going, he's headed for the water. That's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, we're the bridge. We're the bridge. We're all in the bridge. I <laughs> All right, the fish and preacher man. We got it. We got to get the story. You, you say he's, the, he's the man. There, there's, there's, there's no story. How was, how was it today? I want to hear the story. It was wet, and uh, we, uh, we went under the bridge uh, to, uh, to get, you get, out. get with him. Get with him. Um, it's a fun day. Great cost. Good friends. It's been good. Okay. Good community. <laughs> Good fish caught today. Awesome. Really good. Uh, we want to thank Mia Carroll for coming out and singing the national anthem this morning. That was really cool to uh, pray over everybody and have her sing the national anthem. That was something you don't really see in these local tournaments because, you know, we're not that big, honestly. But uh, we just want to thank everybody for coming out and coming to support this cause. We thank everybody for uh, all the support we've had on our Facebook page and uh, the feedback we've gotten with uh, the weekly devotionals we've started, we've been just so encouraged by that. And, uh, you know, we, we said it last year, but, you know, we've kind of been in this pandemic stretch for about three years now. And uh, the first year we did Camo Drinks Tournament, we were still in the pandemic. And, you know, it's, it's still very true. We're still dealing with any time you turn on the news or anything, there's a ton of negativity. It's, it's really easy to get underneath that bridge. So there's not a fish there, by the way. None of us caught one. But, uh... We're actually gonna, we had a couple kids today with Camo Dreams get to fish with us, and uh, unfortunately one fished with me, unfortunate for him, because we didn't catch nothing. But uh, uh, I'm actually gonna have his dad come up and kind of talk about, you know, what Camo Dreams did. We're here to surprise him. He killed this big turkey last year, and uh, they rush mounted it, and so we're here to surprise him with his full body turkey. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the payouts real quick before we get started on the raffle prizes. And uh, we, again, we appreciate every coming, everybody coming out. We had a lot of good bags weighed, and uh, actually our biggest fish ever, uh, same weighed our biggest fish ever. So, uh, Derek, thank you so much. You <laughs> great so welcome, village. Jackie. <laughs> uh, fifth place goes to Brandon Barber and Steve Mac. Fourth place goes to Max Cox, Matt Cox and Jeffrey Reynolds with 11-10. Third place goes to Alan Courtney and Ray Rains with 12-7. Second place goes to Ryan and Keith with 12-10. Good job, guys. Get back. And then... Uh, and then first place, and uh, this one, I, I know, Sam, this means a lot to you, but this, we're, I could not be more excited to see you win this, because I know your dad used to come to every tournament, and he'd fish every tournament with you, and I know he is shining down right now, and he is looking at you for winning this. Great bag, guys. 14-6. Uh, Chef Ellisor. <laughs> Kadem Cartwright. They're a kid with a win. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Shane S. Chef Ellisor. Chef, Chef Rucker. 
Chef Ellisor. <laughs> and uh, this year we we did a little bit more. We got uh, right at 9,700 to give to Camo Dream. So we thank y'all guys. And uh, that kind of wraps it up, guys. Again, we thank y'all for coming out. Thank y'all for supporting it. Uh, the food truck will be here a little bit longer. Y'all hang out and do whatever y'all want. Uh, we appreciate y'all sticking around through all the bad weather. Thanks, guys. Yeah. What does this mean to you and Camo Dreams and the whole organization? It's a, it's a lot of dreams come true. This puts a lot of smiles on kids' faces. Um, it helps out a lot. Travel, equipment, whatever we whatever we need to do to make a dream come true, come true for a kid. Um, I, I brought the trailer so that people could kind of see just one of the things that you know, we put money towards. Uh, High Tech Marine built that trailer for us, custom for the Redneck line. And it's a rolling deer stand. We can go anywhere. That, that trailer will fit parking, and a kid can hunt directly at us. That's one drive. That's good. So that's, that's what money goes to to make the kids smile. Well, thank you for all you do. Thank you. Coach. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.